When you open a template in PowerPoint 2010 or 2013, you'll generally see on the very first slide an icon which looks like a speaker. And this is the audio icon which shows that there is an audio file included within the template. If you hover over it like I've just done, you'll see that a box has appeared and it means you'll be able to play the audio so you can hear what it sounds like. Now once it's been highlighted, either by playing the audio or clicking on the icon, you'll notice at the top here some audio tools have appeared. Now format is for the actual icon, which PowerPoint also sees as an image, but what we're interested in is the playback tab. When you're using the audio track as background music for a video, you want to make sure that play in the background is highlighted. And the box which says hide during show is checked so the icon won't be visible within the video. Now you'll notice that the track is now set to start automatically, play across all slides and loop until stopped. Uncheck the loop until stopped when you're creating the video because generally you'll want the soundtrack to fade out nicely at the end. I don't generally have a fade in but I do like to set a fade out of about four seconds which you can do by just adjusting the timing here. You can also set the volume of the track to low, medium, high or mute. I generally choose medium. Now, just because you've chosen to set a fade out, it doesn't mean your track will fade out nicely as the presentation finishes. If you click on the Trim Audio tab, you'll see the full length of the track here, which is more than three minutes long. And this is much longer than the actual presentation. So what you need to do is trim the audio by moving these levers. I won't normally touch this green lever. I leave it to start exactly at the beginning. But you need to adjust this red lever. And you need to shorten the track to around the same time as you ascertained the video would be when you rehearse the timings for the presentation. And that's covered in another tutorial. Now you might need to tweak it a little a couple of times, but it's definitely worth playing around with to get the fade out right because it gives a much more professional finish to the final video. If you want a different track to the one that's already within the template, all you need to do is make sure the audio icon is highlighted, then you can hit the delete key. And then to insert a new track, you just click insert, audio, audio on my PC. Once you've found that track, you just click insert. <laughs> 